Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. Uh, in this reading, I'm going to be doing two spreads in one. So the first half of this reading will be for Sagittarius couples, those of you that are already in some sort of a connection. And then the second half of the video will be for those of you who are single. So feel free to watch both if you'd like. Um, I'll start with the couples first. Um, you can fast forward if you want to skip this. Um, this is going to be for uh, you know, the drill, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading, so it will not and cannot resonate with everyone watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't try to make it fit if it's not your reading. And we're just going to jump right in. All right, Spirit for Sagittarius. Those that are in a connection. Those that are in a connection, Spirit. I'm using the Tarot of the Golden Wheel today. All right, Sagittarius. So what do we have? What do we have for Sagittarius in a connection? Messages for Sagittarius. All right, let's see, Sagittarius. Doing a simplified Celtic cross today. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I appreciate it. I read all of your comments, so thank you, especially those of you who leave such sweet comments. Seven of Cups reversed, crossed by the Ace of Cups. Wow. New love, or just a lot of love, an offer of love for some of you here. And it's almost like there was a lot of options, a lot of temptations, um, and someone finally chose one cup to give to someone here. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Interesting, Page of Pentacles reversed. And what's on your mind? Three of Swords Reverse Healing Third Party Energy. We'll see. I'm going to clarify all of these. You've withdrawn based off of some sort of painful situation, or maybe you're just trying to figure things out. Maybe you're doing a lot of thinking right now regarding whatever happened here. I feel like at some point there was an offer that either was really delayed or never came in. And, and it's like that has started this whole chain of events here because this is the root, the foundation of the spread the reason why everything is happening. And it's like either a message that didn't come in or something happened here where a commitment never took off or someone is really um, delayed or blocked from making this offer to you or bringing this opportunity to you. So let's see, what was in, what happened in the recent past? I didn't even get to ask my question. What happened in the recent past? Happened in the recent past. I love this deck, but it's so like tall that it's hard for me to grab the cards with my small hands. The lovers reversed. Some sort of um, breakup, separation here with the lovers reversed. Gemini energy there. Possibly a wrong choice was made regarding a partnership. Or a partner what's coming up in the near future here oh 
Wow. The Empress. It's a good card to have in the near future. The Empress. The Empress. I can't even speak. The Empress. Um, they know their value. They are great at manifesting, creating. They have good ideas. But not only do they have good ideas, they can make them happen. Um, the Empress is very... How do I say this? Complete. They don't need anybody else. They have everything that they could ever want or need to make their dreams a reality, to make things grow. So they're, they're a one, one woman, one man show. So there's something in the future coming up that is, is going to have a lot of potential. We have the five of cups at the bottom here. So it's almost like, you know, growing past the disappointment, overcoming um, regrets, not letting, not letting yourself focus on what didn't work out only, but also just coming up with a plan, growing something new. There's abundance here. So let's clarify. Let's get into this. Tell me about the seven of cups. Reverse. Why is the seven of cups reversed here? Wheel of fortune reversed. So maybe um, there was confusion or fogginess based off of something that wasn't the right time, bad timing, something that was unfortunate here. This could be in regards to a commitment with um, the higher font reversed at the bottom here. Maybe like a, if there was a breakup of some sort, it felt like it was, like you couldn't win, you couldn't super, like you couldn't um, get over this, you couldn't, um, Nothing was working out for you. I feel also like someone took their sweet time trying to make a decision here. Maybe it wasn't the right time to make a decision, but I feel like the wheel, since the wheel is always turning, it could be that at this time, while things are a mess, someone has made a choice. You know, things might not be working out. Um, the wheel reverse could be somebody that's like uh, walking against the current or working against the current. So it's not like they can never make something happen. It's just much more difficult than it normally would be. So when I see the wheel of fortune here, clarifying the seven of cups reverse, it's like they've chosen um, to go against the current here and make something happen make a choice regardless of their circumstances and it could have something to do with a commitment tell me about the ace of cups why is the ace of cups here queen of cups reversed interesting Can I get one more for this Ace of Cups? It's like someone's in love. And even though everything's like burning around them or not working around them, they're still going to make an offer because they're motivated by their emotions here. Eight of Swords. Someone that feels trapped stuck maybe um, overthinking it's almost like this queen of cups is going to get an ace of cups and they're going to be yeah they're going to have like doubts or fears regarding this offer and this could be you Sagittarius that's accepting this offer or this could be you making an offer take it as it resonates so this could be your story or it could be the person that you're interested in. It could be their story. 
because energies can be like that. So I feel like whenever someone is presented this Ace of Cups, they're going to be like emotionally a mess. Can I get one more for this Ace of Cups? You would think that this, this would be a good offer or something that someone would want. Nine of Cups reversed. Again, I just get that feeling of, it's like this is not what someone really wants. I have the star at the bottom, Aquarius energy there. It's like someone had a hope or a wish here, but you know, if they do get their wish, it's not everything they thought it was going to be, or there's something they have to give up in order to get this wish. It's not the perfect circumstances. It's almost like someone had in mind um, a scenario of how this would go down and it didn't happen that way. It's like, yes, this is a nice cup and all, but what about everything else? Tell me about the page of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the page of Pentacles reverse, please. Ten of Swords reverse. Ten of Swords reverse could be um, overcoming... Um, moving on from an ending, overcoming feelings of betrayal, moving forward. Um, so it's almost like even if this didn't work out or if this didn't come in, um, even though this was an ending, I feel like someone's moving forward to have the 10 of wands at the bottom here. And by doing so, by ending something or going through an ending, this comes in. But at, on your mind is the Three of Swords reverse. Why is the Three of Swords reverse on your mind? Spirit, tell me about this Three of Swords reverse, please. For Sagittarius. Ooh. Page of Cups. You're thinking of an offer? Tell me more about this Three of Swords reverse. Making a decision here. One more, please, for this Three of Swords reverse. Okay, I got two. King of Wands reverse, Four of Cups. See, it's almost like, it's almost like you're just not into this. Something about this offer is like you're not really interested or you, you're you dealing with someone here who you probably don't trust. Um, maybe you're not attracted to this person or maybe there are issues between you that makes you just not be interested in whatever offer this is and whatever someone's telling you here. And it could be um, Knight of Cups reverse at the bottom. It could be that they're just telling you what you want to hear and you know that. This could also be an apology. If this is a third party situation, someone could be apologizing to you for what happened or wanting to overcome this ending, this difficulty, healing, like tr trying to heal this connection and they're doing it with an apology and with emotion. But it's like you're not really, I don't know. It's almost like you know what decision to make with the two of wands reverse, you've made a just you've chosen a path, but it's like you're not interested. Really weird. Tell me about the lovers reverse. If this is resonating for you, tell me in the comments what this is about. I love hearing um, how the readings resonate for you. Tell me about the lovers reverse in the recent past here. Okay, we got Queen of Swords. Tell me more about the lovers reverse. This queen of swords is holding back. Um, I feel like whatever happened here, 
you you either gave up on this or you retreated you closed yourself off not a lot of emotion here with the queen of swords can i get one more for the lovers reverse Page of Wands reverse. I feel like something here just never, never took off or it didn't happen the way you thought it was going to happen. And so you kind of like withdrew and possibly there was a breakup or a separation here. Something was not successful, I feel. Maybe you weren't recognized for the work you put into a relationship or your feelings weren't validated or something like that. Um, maybe you realize that this person, all they did was talk, but they never backed up their words with actions. Um, maybe they just told you, yeah, I'll take care of it. I'll do that. I'll do this. And then they never followed through because that's the page of wands reverse. And it's almost like they couldn't commit either. Tell me about the Empress and then your future here. What's this Empress about? Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Empress, please. Yeah, like there's somebody here that wasn't really willing to commit or able to commit to you. And I feel like this was a, a situation that happened for like a while. Like this... This was not a quick relationship. I feel like this was something that was ongoing. Can I get one more for the Empress? And I feel like the Empress ha ha like hung on there, if I could speak English. Um, but it's like, you know, I feel like they're wanting to manifest something else here. The moon reverse. I feel like this Empress figured something out. And yeah, see magician at the bottom. So it's almost like whatever came to light, whatever this empress is now realizing is the truth or how this empress is viewing someone right now or someone's actions right now. It's like they're thinking of manifesting something else here. Hierophant reversed again, three of wands waiting for the right time or waiting for to make a move here ready to make a move here seven of swords they might be um trying to be strategic because of the op of what they're going to have to face here or maybe um this is all due to someone that was trying to be deceptive um someone that hurt this relationship and it's really weird because it's almost like um it's almost like I'm getting too little, too late energy here. Like maybe someone finally got their act together, but um, maybe you gave them a chance, but uh, nothing really changed. Or maybe you gave them a chance, but you couldn't trust them. And so the relationship just doesn't have a future. So I feel like you're manifesting something here. Can I get one more for the Empress, please? Can I get one more for the Empress, please? Five of Cups. Why? What's going on here? What's going on here with the Empress? This Empress is upset. Yeah, this Empress is disappointed at what happened. Five of Swords reversed. Someone didn't get away with what they thought they were going to get away with. Tell me more about this. That was sloppy. Tell me more about this Empress, please. And you know, it's interesting. You're out of all the readings that I've done here. Should I no? Get on. Out of all the readings that I've done, um, a lot of the couples readings did not get any cards regarding to do or that had to do with love, but you did, and I got excited. And it's like there's still issues here. Tell me more about the Empress, please. Because I'm, I mean, I'm being told a story here with the Empress. Yeah, walking away. See, the Empress is manifesting something. Queen of Wands reverse, Four of Wands, maybe stability out of a toxic situation. Maybe um, 
They want a new beginning here. A long-term commitment. They could be walking away from a long-term commitment as well because the Empress, usually they're already in a relationship. Interesting. Um, otherwise, I'm going to move right into the singles reading. Feel free to stick around for that if you'd like. Otherwise, I will say goodbye here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it resonated. And if it did, leave a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you. All right, let's see. For my singles. Those that are single. What messages do you have, Spirit, for those that are single? Sagittarius singles, please messages regard regarding love i can't talk today i don't know what's going on for those sagittarius that are single please the hangman reverse it's crossing the hangman reverse the higher fonts. Interesting. We got Taurus and Pisces here. Hangman reverse. This is someone that's unable to let go, unwilling to sacrifice, unwilling to have an open mind, very narrow minded. They can only see a situation a certain way. Um, so someone could be stuck here because they put themselves there. Maybe you're only looking at commitment and values and tradition in one way. Like maybe uh, you can only have one type of partner or something like that. We'll clarify and see what that's about. Hopefully some of you are not in a commitment, but feeling single. That, that would be sad. Why is this happening? Didn't even ask my question. Why is this happening? Spirit, why is this happening? Death. Scorpio energy. Uh, we've we've already just gotten three major arcanas off the bat. I can't talk to you guys. I apologize. I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> I know what I want to say, but it's not coming out. Um, so we have a death here. Um, endings transformations changes some sort of ending took place here that has um kind of set everything here in motion what's on your mind what's on your mind five of cups reversed I hope that you're overcoming your past and not thinking, not letting the past affect you now in the present. Hopefully the five of cups is you overcoming disappointment, overcoming regret, because the other um, meaning for the five of cups reverse is someone that's not over the past and refuses to get over it. So we'll clarify and see. What happened in the recent past? Oh, the fool. More major arcanas. A new beginning. A leap of faith. You took a risk. Tell me about the near future. What's coming up? The near future. Oh my gosh, this video is going to be long. A choice. Okay. So let's get right into this. Why is the hangman reversed here? Spirit, why is the hangman reversed? Two of swords. So you're plagued by indecision and so you're stuck. Okay. Can I get more about the hangman reverse, please? Queen of cups. So this could have something to do with um, someone that you are interested in, or it could have it could be an emotional decision for you. Tell me about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Six 
six of wands. So maybe you, you really want a successful commitment. Tell me more about the higher font, please. Or you could be dealing with a Taurus. Wanting success with the Queen of Swords. We got two queens here. What is going on? King of Swords at the bottom there. Maybe you're deciding between two people. Tell me about death. What's going on here? Someone here. This could be you, by the way, or this could be the person coming towards you or the person that you're thinking about um, to get how it resonates. But I feel like you're going to have, um, it could go two ways. Either you're deciding between two people or you're exhibiting both of these energies. You're queen of cups when it comes to this decision and you're queen of swords when it comes to commitment and success or a successful commitment of some sort. It's almost like you're approaching love in a very analytical way. Um, thinking rationally and logically about your partner um, rather than emotionally here. But there's a decision here that you feel stuck. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Ooh, six of cups reversed. Putting an end to the past. Ending something here with possibly, this could have been a breakup with an ex of yours. Um, I get one more for death. Eight of pentacles reversed. Something wasn't working with the past and so you put an end to it. Maybe, um, yeah, two of cups reversed, okay at the bottom. So this was definitely a breakup. So a breakup has now left you with a choice here. What happened in the recent past with the fool? What's this fool about? Taking a risk. Leap of faith. Whew. Yeah, definitely. There was an ending here. Ten of swords and the fool. So you're moving on, taking a risk. Something that's more balanced, more fair to you. Someone that gives as much as they, they take and vice versa. Okay, tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. This is on your mind. I really hope this is you overcoming all of this. Kind of a healing from this. Tell me more about the Five of Cups reverse, please. Yep, good. Okay, Nine of Swords reverse. So it's no longer hurting you that, that badly. You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here after some difficult um thoughts or emotions you've had tell me more about the five of cups reverse hi priestess your intuition could be guiding you or um maybe um maybe you've done the work four of swords reversed definitely um i feel like you're ready to move on a lot of you here are ready to move on um, ready to let this energy go, leave it in the past. Your intuition could be guiding you. You could be um, being spoken to in dreams or seeing signs and synchronicities like just in your daily life. Um, spirit could be speaking to you in some way or you are more in tune with spirit in some way. I think it's helping you. Tell me about this two of pentacles in the near future. Tell me about the two of pentacles, please. King of pentacles reverse. Okay, tell me more. The emperor reverse and the world reverse. Okay, hold on. Can I get one more? Page of wands reverse, ace of wands at the bottom. So I feel like there's something here where you... You want a new beginning, you want a new, be, uh, a new cycle, you want um, to start fresh, and it's like there's something that's going to get in your way. There's something here that maybe you haven't gotten closure, maybe you're still wrapping things up, maybe there's things that need to be taken care of, um, maybe you're refusing to leave something behind completely. Um, this could be energetically. 
Um, with the Emperor Reverse, you could be dealing with someone very difficult, an Aries possibly. Um, it could be someone that is um, controlling. Um, if it's not that, then you feel powerless and like you don't have control over your new beginning here. Maybe you don't have the resources or the the drive or motivation to get something finished here. Maybe you're stop and go, stop and go about this new beginning. Um, you could also be dealing with a King of Pentacles reverse. They tend to be greedy, selfish people, not very good partners, not very good people because they, they, um, all they care about is how, what they can gain, what they can gain from you or a situation. So you could be dealing with two diff difficult people here, or this is just, I feel you at this time. You don't have the resources, the financial resources, possibly, um, maybe you're not feeling very grounded or stable at this time. Um, and so I feel like you're not able to really get something started here. And I think this has to do with a brand new beginning, a passionate new beginning here. Yeah, your, your emotions are all over the place here. Be very careful because um, whatever decision this is, is very difficult. And I feel like your emotions need to be in check for you to make the right decision here. For you to um, overcome the challenges, for you to be ready for the obstacles. Like your mind needs to be right. Your heart needs to be right. Maybe that's what you're trying to do here with the high priestess. It could also be for some of you that you're keeping something to yourself regarding a healing process you're going through or regarding um, your next steps. You might not be sharing them with anybody, but I feel like you are ready for something new. And I think this decision, this difficult decision you're in here, um, I think you need to be open minded and willing to let go of something. It might not be a perfect beginning. They might be couple things here and this new beginning could be anything let's see if the if spirit will tell us can you tell us more about the fool what is this new beginning about queen of wands something you're passionate about that's very ace of wands energy you want to get something you, you you're motivated tell me more about the fool why is the fool here yeah ace of wands this is a new beginning i feel i'm getting the same cards eight of cups reverse i feel like um your your departure might be delayed or maybe you want to return to someone or return to a, a certain place tell me more about the fool but it's like you def definitely want a new beginning and i feel like you have the courage it's just probably not the resources you might be dealing with someone that is um, with the Seven of Swords Reverse. They might be messing with your head. Because I also had the Magician Reverse that fell out. Somebody here could be wanting to delay your departure or interfere. I don't think they're going to win though because I have the Nine of Cups. So, and the Page of Cups at the bottom. So there could be something here that you, somebody you're talking to... That is your wish fulfillment, but for some reason, you haven't been able to get this new beginning started. Um, I think you're also thinking about how you can be happy, what that would take. Um, I feel like you have the courage and the passion. The, you, know, you might be very attracted to somebody. Somebody could be very attracted to you and approach you. But there's something here where you're not able to fully get this new new cycle started. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. I hope you got something out of it. And um, hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.